What's poppin' YouTube? Coming at y'all with a video here. Um, this is uh, Magic and Trap Siding for Nets. Um, I will be showing you six different spells now. Um, I'll probably do the spells and traps um, together. I don't want to keep putting separate videos. Um, but I'm probably going to do them together. And this is just, uh, if you're going to Nats or even in general, these are like good side deck cards that um, a lot of people, I'm going by, pe um, a lot of people use them. Th not this so much, but we could put it like this. From from what people use to what what people haven't really been, well, haven't been seeing so much play. But let me start out with Soul Taker. Soul Taker, um, oh yeah, and if you like this, please thumbs up, tell your friends, um, post it on other, like, link on um, places that you, uh, you know, that, that you're subscribed to or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, just, uh, tell me if you want any other series type things to go on. So, Soul Taker. Soul Taker is really good. Um, you know, it helps you, um, <clears throat> it, first of all, it lets you pick. Against smashing, you know, smashing ground, which doesn't um, let you pick exactly what you want to hit is whatever is lowest or uh, highest defense. But this lets you pick. That's one. Not the main reason why people use it. Main reason why people use it is because of the. Um, it helps uh, if you hit a uh, light pulsar, or even the shining. They lose their timing because the last thing. Um, that happens is them gaining the thousand. I believe that's what it is. But since since you uh let's say Pulsar is out, you activate um Soul Taker, and then Pulsar goes to the grave, and he tries to activate. I guess I don't know how it works, but then your opponent gains a thousand, and since you know since they gaining the thousand, they can't activate. Pulsar's effect because you know they have to gain a thousand or whatever. I don't know, but it's because Pulsar and Shining lose their timing, and that's that's about that. Now, Soul Taker, I mean, so I said Soul Taker, so um, Soul Release, another Soul card. Um, basically, this is is it's not a it's not a good good card, but it is a good card because if you top deck this mid game and yeah, say the, your chaos or or even in sectors having um already done their loop and haven't OTK'd you or anything. Second, uh, you know, like maybe third, fourth turn while they have all the shit in the grave, you could just remove it all. Just say fuck it and remove it all. So this, if you don't know what this does, it is basically select. Let me see. Well, I, I don't know. Most people should know what this does. But it says select five cards in, in either graveyard and remove them. Well, monster cards. No, actually, cards. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not, it doesn't have to be monsters. Now for the next tier of cards. These are are good depending on what deck you're playing. If you're strictly exceeding and stuff, if you play this, it's really broken against your opponent. Um... <clears throat> Especially uh, uh, dragons, you know, they can't really do anything unless they exceed into like bouncer or other crap. <laughs> but uh, this, if you're playing wind ups or insectors, this is really good because at least with wind ups, all your guys are, are small and then you exceed anyways. And all you have to do is when you're ready uh, to attack, just stop paying the cause. Or if you're playing, um, in sectors, you could just activate this, and this is another target for your hornet and your opponent. If the, your opponent doesn't commit to the field, then you gotta you gotta target anyways, as well as sectors. Anybody who exceeds can use this. You know, it's a good stall card against dragons, basically. Um, <clears throat> now, to the cards that a lot of people don't see: Wise Man Chalice, Summoning Curse, Summoning Curse. Really, really, really good card. People, I don't know how many people know about this card, but uh, that's what it does. Yeah, I'll close it up. Bam, that's what it does. You can pause it and read it. But basically, when a monster special summons to the um to um to the controller 
of that monster's card, they have to remove... They basically, whenever uh, your opponent... Sorry, it's blurry. I don't know why I keep doing that. But whenever your, your opponent or you special summon, you have to remove a card. And that's really, really, really good. You know, because uh, you don't have to um, summon a special summon. If you're playing something that just normals, any deck that normals, or even if you're paying a deck that normals, um, the cost for this is you have to pay 500 every end phase. So you just don't pay the 500 next turn. Um, you can go off even though your opponent goes after this. But if or if you're playing in sectors, this is the main deck. You you will play this in, in sectors. If you're playing in sectors, you should be side decking one to two of these, just because of the simple fact that you can just pop it as soon as you're about to special, and you don't have to worry about it. But if your opponent's playing rabbit. They're going to have to negative 2 from their hand because they're going to special Kavasaurs and then they're going to special Lagia. So they have to remove 2 cards in their hand just to bring out a Lagia, which I doubt they will do. So they're probably going to wait. If they don't have the MST, they're not going to summon anything. Wiseman's Chalice is a good card. Um, because if you're playing, depending on the deck you're playing actually, if you're playing Dragons, there are going to be a lot of Dragons and Nats. So you just activate this. Take their monster, either Pulsar, Red Eyes. I mean, if it's a Pulsar, you exceed over it. If it's a Pulsar, you can Synchro with it. Um, actually, no, you can't Synchro with it. Let's see. Yeah, you can use the monster that you... For people that don't know what it is, first of all. Bam. When you control no monsters, you select a uh, opponent monster in the graveyard, special summon it. During the end phase, you got to give it back. That's the only drawback, but obviously you exceed with their monster. If they have a Lila in the grave, you take it, switch Lila to defense, pop their back row. You know, now they get a defense Lila they can't even change. Eh, you know, or, or you just use the Lila afterwards. If you're playing against Dragon, you could take... I mean, if you're playing against Dinos, you could take their other stuff. And, yeah. So, it's a really good card. I mean, it's another Reborn, basically, for free. The only thing is, if you don't use their, the monster, you would have to give it back to your opponent. <clears throat> um, now, for the traps. First, I'm going to go with the traps that everybody knows. That everybody's seen being played. And are really good. Bam. Okay. Those four cards. They're really good. <clears throat> Since Final Countdown is, is, has gained popularity, uh, Dust Tornado is good just to end phase, kill their, their one defense. On top of trap heavy decks, if you want to main the three MSTs and then sign into two of these, it's good. Like, because you want your place to go off. Um, that's about that for that. The Kree, again, stops Final Countdown. Chain Burn has gained somewhat of a popularity as well, even though it hasn't topped. I mean, not that I know of, but I know Final Countdown, I heard more tops than it, so this stops decks. And if this trap heavy decks, bam, that's what you can do, as long as you don't run a lot of traps. Deep Prison, it stops Lagia, I mean, it doesn't stop Lagia, but it's an out to Doka at least, and you know, they if they don't they negate with Lagia, then yeah, but if you're playing against dragons, they have to swing into you. There's nothing else they can do. They All they do is swing and remove with chaos monsters. But if they swing into you with uh, with uh, Pulsar, bam, remove them. And then the combo is out unless they have another Pulsar in here. Bottomless, again, Pulsar. Oh, remove his ass. If you're playing against Dino Rabbits, let them bring out Rabbit. No response. Bring out two Kavasaurs or Sabersaurus. I don't miss both of them, and then they're sad. Now for, oh wait, Macro Cosmos is another one. If you can use this, if you don't need the grave, side this against dragons, and they are done. I mean, you can't, they can't really do anything. If they future fusion and you chain this, sad face. And chain disappearance is another one. A lot of tour guides running around, bam, rabbit. Damn, I mean, you know, even though Rabbit needs to get removed, sometimes they can't do it yet, so just remove it. 
And for other trap heavy decks, you can use this. Still a good card. Minus that dragons don't set a lot of cards. Hit um hit um dino rabbits with this and they might be sad. Chain burn might be sad. Um and these are two other cards. If you can main these I mean if you can main this one, it's really good. I mean every deck except for maybe dragons, but even with dragons they, they have to either bring out two of uh, red eyes and a dark flare but they can bring out the combo of red eyes and um pulsar with this because it has to be only one attribute on the field so if you have a deck that's just one attribute play this and this not too many people have decided i don't understand why because it hits a lot of cards a lot of cards it hits rabbit rabbit can't do shit because they can't remove anything so they can't remove it they summon rabbit you activate this and then it's like you just veilered their rabbit forever until they hit this with MST um, if you're playing against um, dragons uh, play this and they don't remove shit so the name of the game is removing they can't remove you're playing against heroes they activate Miracle Fusion, you activate this, and they can't remove anything. It's just too good, too, too good. Don't know why people are not playing it. But, uh, yeah. And I think I forgot this monster in the monster thing. Against Insectors, it's just too broken. Against, uh, against Heroes in a Crucial Time, broken. Against, uh, Chaos Dragons, it's broken. But, uh, that's that. Um, hopefully I enjoyed that little, uh, talk, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I just, uh, see if I can do some other videos, if y'all enjoyed this video, again, thumbs up, um, rate, comment, subscribe, and, uh, I really appreciate all my new subscribers, and I'll catch y'all later, peace.